you're eating at Sebastian's Bistro around nine o'clock ish, they have an amazing view right across over to Harmonious and watch a good fireworks show. The hostess just sat us down at our table and we're right in like the main dining area which is really nice. Right on the windows outside of us is where the harmonious fireworks were going off so that was kind of neat. I wish we were actually sitting down watching the fireworks but I don't know with all this glaring here if you would see them but outside we had an amazing view of the fireworks. It did bring us two different drink menus. One is a wine selection and the other one is a cocktail selection. Our cocktails just came to the table and Brittany what did you and I order? Brittany and I ordered the same drink. <laughs> we both ordered the Caribbean Smuggler. The drink it has Captain Morgan original spice rum. It also has Pear Bay rum along with cranberry juice and pineapple juice. What did you get to drink? Is it good? What does it taste like? It tastes like a vanilla ice cream. Connor got the flounder colada of raisin. It's a frozen blend of pineapple, coconut, and banana layered with orange flavored ice cream and topped with whipped cream. The menu selection is family style, so they're gonna bring us an appetizer. I think the appetizer was salad. The salad is a mixed green salad which had pumpkin seeds, it has kale in it. They also bring pull apart bread rolls to the table that has a guava butter with it. It is similar to Ohana. The salad has a really sweet and acidic taste to it. Resting is kind of like a vinaigrette-ish, very sweet. Tried the roll and the guava butter is absolutely delicious. The guava butter tastes similar to like a honey butter. It's sweet, but it's really good. Our food just came to the table. You can also get coconut shrimp. It is an additional charge of $8. Who doesn't love some good coconut shrimp? Shrimp are actually really tasty. They're nice and big. They're like really huge coconut shrimp. A lot of coconut, a lot of flavor. They do come with the sauce. I'm not sure what the sauce is, but there's really not a whole lot of taste to it. Our main entrees just arrived and the entree comes with three different sides. It comes with cilantro, rice and beans, a vegetable beef stew in the middle, and then broccolini is the last side that it comes with. It comes with three different entrees. It comes with a citrus oven baked chicken, mojo pork in the middle, and then a flank steak as the last Entree. Next to the Moho Park is a mango reduction sauce. It looks delicious. The waiter said that it pairs really nicely with the pork. And on the side of the flank steak, it comes with a mojito green sauce that he said pairs really well with the flank steak. The flank steak comes medium to medium rare. We've been working on our main entrees here for a little bit. The steak I think is pretty good for a flank steak. I think it could have used a little bit more seasoning. The cook was really good on it. I actually think the pulled pork is better than the steak in my opinion. It has a really good taste to it. I'm really enjoying it. Chicken's good. It's your average flavor of chicken. I know it has supposed to have like a citrus lime flavor. I don't really taste much of that, but it's definitely not a bad piece of chicken, but just, it's, it's good. One of the side dishes is a green rice. So good, it's probably some of the best rice we've ever had. Yeah. How's your chicken? It's good. So on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate that chicken? 10 out of 10. Why do you always eat chicken? Because I want to. We finished eating our entrees, and of all the proteins, which one was your favorite? I enjoyed the pork the most. I really like the spice on the pork. I didn't think it needed a sauce with it. I thought it was fine by itself. What was your favorite? I actually thought it was a little dry. I thought it really needed the pineapple reduction or some kind of like barbecue sauce, something to like pair with it. I'm not a huge barbecue pulled pork person. For me, out of all three, I would probably say the steak. With your meal, you also get a dessert as well. It is a pineapple bread pudding. What we've been told, it rivals the bread pudding over at Ohana. You also get a caramel sauce with it as well and vanilla ice cream unfortunately we just were too stuffed <laughs> so we are not eating that tonight but our waiter was able to put it in a to-go box for us we just wrapped up dinner at sebastian's bistro omar our waiter was amazing so if you guys ever go eat at sebastian's highly request
sacrifice Tim. He was really good. He was an amazing server. Overall, what did you think? I highly enjoyed it. The meal was delicious. The appetizers and entree were really good. 10 out of 10 balloons for me. It was good. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. I would have to give our meal a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. The price of it was amazing. It was $29.99 per person and only $17.99 for Connor. Quality of food that you get is amazing. Pulled pork I wasn't a huge fan of. The chicken was just a little plain. Could have had a little bit more seasoning. The steak overall was actually really good. The key lime vinaigrette, oh, was so good. It made the salad really tasty. Cilantro lime rice, that one was really good as a side dish. The drinks were really the good. The drinks were really tasty. Even Connor's drink for a kid's drink was pretty pretty tasty as well. I hope you guys enjoyed our dining review and always remember, adventures out there. there.